Hedron, our late night money bag alert with volume increasing almost 100%. But first, welcome back. Money Bags Rico here, bringing you financial awareness to a crypto space that is changing on the hour, every hour. With that being said, out the way, be sure to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also make sure that bell notification is lit up. Hedron is our money bag alert. We got the volume almost up about 100%. So that's pretty good if you ask me. And we're going to get to these prices right away. We see that they have 13 and a half followers or so, right? Almost at 13 and a half exactly. Um, and they've been around since December 21st uh, or December 2021. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and look at the charts. First, we're going to look at these stats, 81% up in the volume, 60, um, 65%. And the overall daily is 65.72, just to be exact. And we're erasing that zero just to give you a little um, update of what Hedron is about because I never heard of it before. And I just want to make sure we know what's going on. Um, obviously, you guys know that I would say volume is king, and that's what I'm jumping on. But let's know a little bit about it. Hedron is a collection of smart contracts that live on the Ethereum and Pulse chain blockchains. Hedron builds on top of Hex to allow stakers to mint and borrow Hedron tokens against their active Hex stakes. Hedron also allows stakers to trade their Hex stakes as NFTs tokens on any compatible NFT marketplace. Hedron has no admin keys and no kill switches. Just like Hex, Hedron is completely decentralized with zero counterparty risk. That is huge for me, somebody who's um, a big advocate of decentralized finance. That's the whole point of cryptocurrency, right? Um, the cryptography part of it. So this is something that I like. And of course, volume is king and something that we're going to look at right now in the charts. Obviously, TradingView, um, CoinMarketCap doesn't have it. But nonetheless, we have this right here on Dex Tools, on Dex Tools, where we're going to dive a little bit deeper. I want you guys to leave some comments down below. If you guys heard of Hedron before, if you guys know about Hedron, let me know. But specifically, this is a money bag alert because one, we're about to erase that zero. So that's that psychological barrier. We're on the daily chart. We have the SAR. Let's go ahead and zoom in. We have the SAR in our favor, which are the three dots. And the way you get these three dots or these dots right here, you simply go to indicators. And you would type in SAR. That would be the parabolic SAR right there. I call it the scar because it basically cuts a scar in the chart. That's the way I remember things. So we got this cutting a scar right into the chart right now. We got it on the daily chart. So that's huge right there, right? And we're going to work this chart down by the time frames. But first, we're going to see this swing trade that we have. Of course, not financial advice. But I'm noticing a lot of people want to hold a little bit longer before they do a sell instead of some gap and go trading. This is the way you would want to look at it. This is the zero mark that we have right here right this is our new support our new zero mark let's go ahead and mark that up with some upward arrows where we hit it a few times we got it right there more than a few times we got it right there well four times we hit it right there where the price was not along and that's where eventually we have the flip on the sar we zoom in the dots flip to the other side we have the macd also identifying a bullish momentum by the blue line crossing over the red the MACD candles starting to fill up and be very bullish, being solid green and not hollow green, right? Being solid green, dark green is good. Being light green is not good. That means we're losing buying pressure. So the setup is going to be right above this line. We're going to go ahead and layer the chart a little bit and see what it looks like. 12-hour chart and see what we're looking like. So now we're starting to see where that's set up. And I'm going to show you guys how you use this SAR line, okay? The SCAR line that I call the dots on the bottom. Notice that the dots are kind of separating, right? Let me go ahead and put this on auto. So notice that the, the dots are separating, which is an indication to me, of course, not financial advice. You guys do your own due diligence. Practice this. When the dots are separating, as you can tell, when we have momentum, the dots are dot, 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 very close, right? Notice when we start losing momentum, they start to separate, which is a clear indication to me that we're about to break above this and make a support because we want it to look like I'm going to keep showing you guys a higher low right above this line like so. And that's where people set up. That's that setup range right there. When people see that right there, traditional traders are going to see that and they're going to want to set up in that range right there. Okay, let me go ahead and delete that. My bad on that one. So they're going to want to set up on that um, on this support level right here. And why is this a support level? Well, it was a support in the past. This is why it's important. We got this area right here identified by, you know, the, when we were trying to hold on to the price in this area and the price fell through. So now that resist or that support became a resistance, as we see right here, which in turn will become a support eventually once it sets up. But, you know, you could get in a little early, but right there, I can tell by the dots separating. We'll layer the chart some more. Let's go down to the four hour chart. Right. Um, and there we go. Getting right on top of that line. The dots really getting separated now, as we can see. 
Um, the blue line on the MACD is still substantially separated from the red one, so that looks really good. Let's go ahead and layer it one more time, go down to the two-hour chart, and there we go. Look at that, stepping to the right now. And what is it going to do? You know, now we're getting into that overbought range on the MACD. Not saying that we're going to just plummet down, but notice higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. This is a bullish momentum right here. This is a trend right here. Trade with the trend. The trend is your friend. So now let's go ahead and layer it one more time. There goes our red candles. There goes our setup right there. That's exactly what I'm going to keep showing you guys on this channel. Um, you know, for educational purposes only, I want you guys to try to learn these tips and tricks along the way. They've helped me out for the last, you know, six to almost seven years or whatnot. So we have that setup happening right here where, where I was showing everybody, um, just a little bit, showing all of us, right? Where we're going to go up, make a higher low because we've been making higher lows nonstop, higher low, higher low, higher low. Make sure you have the hiking Ashi candles on. Otherwise, it's not going to look like this. It's going to look a lot choppier, okay? Um, like a cluster, you know what? So we'll have higher lows, higher lows, higher lows, higher lows. This is a healthy chart. And then we'll do like what I was saying. We'll layer it one more time before we get into these smaller time frames, okay? Exactly coming down, making a higher low. It's going to look perfect, picture perfect if you ask me. And then moving up. We'll see on the 15-minute chart if the buyers are starting to step in If we see a green candle. And there you go. Look how beautiful that looks. And then go ahead and look at the MACD, how we had that selling pressure, selling pressure, solid red candles, right? Boom, 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 coming down. And now we got a hollow red candle followed by that light green candle helping us identify that this is going to be a higher low. We are about to set up right here. This is a money bag alert. Um, like we say on this channel, you guys are rocking with me. So let's go ahead and zoom back out to all the way back to the daily chart. I think it's important to look at the daily right and then zoom back in you got to layer these time frames up it's really important to do this so let's go ahead let's let dex tools go ahead and load up taking a little bit longer than usual but no big deal so we see what we got going on right now these are your your possibilities your you know your opportunities or whatnot we see the setup happening right now we already identify that by working our way down the time frames we know that we're oversold ready to get over go to the overbought range we still have a ton of room to go so that's you know some bullish indications for me as far as hedron goes i want you guys to smash the like button subscribe to the channel make sure the bell notifications lit up and look at these ranges that you possibly have you know the next one the psychological barrier once we erase one zero we climb all the way up to go test this area and why that area once again because this was a support before so we have to come make a a, a this was a support right there and we're going to get tested right here it's going to be a resistance and then later on a support above here with a breakout to the top i want you guys to continue to come back and experience the abundance of money with me until next time you guys know what it is later